Hi everyone. Today I will build a portable altimeter based on a barometer. My main goal is to be able to read the altitude of my drone in real time. So the main component is a barometer that measures the atmospheric pressure. I chose the MPL 3115A2 for his low price, precision and range of measurement. Then to display the altitude I chose a 4 digit 7 segment display the TM1637 because 4 digits is enough to display the altitude. The pressure sensor has an E2C interface and the display need only digital pins. So an Arduino Nano was enough because it possesses many digital pins as well as the serial data line SDA and serial clock line SCL. To resume, for this project I need links in the comment, an Arduino Nano, a pressure sensor, two resistors of 1 kilo ohm for the pressure sensor that goes on the SCL and SDA, a display, a push button and a pull down resistor for this button to be able to display the maximum reach altitude, and last but not least a little battery to make this project portable. I use a 3.7 volt 600 mAh lithium battery that suits my needs. However, according to the datasheet of the microcontroller of the Arduino Nano, the Admega 168, I should have a used an input voltage higher than 6V, but my 3.7V battery seems to work fine. Putting everything together gives us the following schematic. SDA on pin A4, SCL on pin A5, push button on pin D4, DIO on pin D5, CLK on pin D7, and VCC and ground as it should be. For the running code, it's rather simple. I include the three necessary library for the display, I2C protocol, and the pressure sensor, links in the comments. I configure the displays and the sensor. First of all, I set the current altitude as zero with an offset. Then I make sure the altitude is always positive because I don't need a negative altitude and the display doesn't like it. If a new maximum altitude is reached, I save it for later display. In TM1637.h, we can see that the first argument of the display function is at which address we want to write on which digit we want to write, and the second argument is what we want to write. So I just have to match the corresponding digit of my altitude to the corresponding digit on my display. After assembling the component on the breadboard, it seems to work perfectly. So I use the PCB, some tin, and a soldering iron to solder all the components together. Here is with the battery. First, I try it in an elevator from the minus one floor to the second floor, and it reached nine meters after a little delay, which seemed realist. Finally, I was able to test it on my drone, which was the objective all along. I secure the altimeter using a twisted plate, some Velcro, and some tape roll. Here I pass in front of the two cameras to be able to synchronize the two video after it. The digital video recorder that I use wasn't excellent, that is why I have black strip appearing on the screen when the signal was noisy. Here I reach an altitude of almost 300 meters. I use two cameras, 
one HD camera recording in high quality and the other one retransmitting the real time video to me in FPV, first person view. There is a little gap lag between the two videos. This is due to the fact that the HD video is recorded on the fly, no pun intended, and the other video is recorded after receiving the video signal. So after all, we can say that this portable altimeter is doing his job. Definitely not the best solution for a drone, but gave a pretty good approximation of the altitude. 